Okay, today's Saturday morning. I'm Mike. This is our new BFF, Dexter. He's here for a rehabilitation program. He, he, he's got some territorial things like most dogs. Uh, I'm going to try to make this a very holistic rehabilitation, meaning I think he's a little chunky. You know, I'm not a vet, but I look at his head in relation to his body, why he's gaining so much weight. I'm assuming it's from food intake. So we're going to control his intake a little bit. He's going to get plenty of exercise. He's going to get plenty of love. But as I said to the pet owners, dogs change quickly. There's a honeymoon phase, just like having a house guest. If you don't set boundaries and rules, people take advantage, right? If you, you, know, you have a house guest over for a week and then you know, they, they take advantage, they cross boundaries. So I'm, this is my positive reinforcement. I don't use food necessarily for this. Um, so here's some food. We always got to think of things as not his, it's ours. It's not his. Stop. Good man. Good dog. So if this food was across, so you saw me give him a mild correction. If this food was on the other side of the street, he could get run over like a child excited to play ball. So he needs to defer to us before, so he doesn't get the idea that he can possess this. So this is how our rehabilitation begins by ex expressing leadership. Not abusiveness, leadership. Leadership is completely different than abusiveness. Punishment is completely different than reinforcing good behavior. And here's how we do it. So we're gonna just set boundaries. The first thing we do is not allow Dexter to put tension on a piece of rope. So we have to have a way of correcting behavior. Now. He's shown territorial aggression in his home. He's taken over parts of the house. Primarily because he was allowed to cross boundary after social boundary after social boundary. And that's fine. And he's different than other dogs. So we're going to try to get him a little healthy. We're going to get him some playmates. You can see the dogs over there. We're going to get him reintroduced to his crate. And the process is going to begin. But it's very relaxed. He's good boy. Good boy. Good. This is positive reinforcement, right? Listen to my voice. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at the leash. There's no pinch collars. There's no electric collars. This is simple, relaxed, and energy. This is an animal. Good boy. I get low. My animal comes to me. I don't have to even call him. I love him. All right. I don't have to go on and on. So today is the first day of his rehabilitation. Hopefully, the first day of the rest of his new life, if the home environment changes. So if you send a, an alcoholic to rehab for 30 days, that's wonderful. But if you go home and you have a keg party for him when they get home, that defeats the whole purpose of it. So it's, he's already formulated ideas about the, 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 you know, pet, the family, the human members of the family, and he has opinion about each one of them. Ironically, the most loving and nurturing one is the one that he goes after. So, you know, he literally bites the hand that feeds him in a, in a, in a way. So we're just going to shift that, and we're going to take it from there. Thank you. Okay, so here we are continuing with our friend Dexter's rehabilitation, and we're really going to truly, because of the, his issues, which are very strong territorial issues, particularly towards humans, not even other animals, more towards humans, it's important that we really kind of rehabilitate that and shift this way of thinking from it. So we look at it like rehabilitation. So um, if you're familiar with rehabilitation, you go away for 30 days, but at the end of it, you have to have defer to a higher power. It's not the dog. So the dog needs leadership, so we become his higher power. We do lovingly and structure. He's in his crate, the only place. This is not Dexter's. This is our human food. This is analogous to me hunting a dead rabbit. This is ours. We give it out judiciously. Not just when Dexter wants this, Dexter wants love. It becomes enabling. So we don't give him too much of our emotion unless we're ready. So I'm coming over. I touch my little thing here. I'm going to keep it from coming out. Good boy. Good boy. I'm not hitting him in the head. I'm not squishing his head. I'm teaching him to slow his mind down. His mind gets him in trouble. So I'm slowing down. He needs to appreciate. You need to appreciate that a dent, this is a, a dent. So a big laundry room is too much for a little dog to protect. Good boy. 
So he's backing up. I have a leash and a piece of rope on him for now. And this is only when we're training him. When, when, when we're not supervising, obviously, a leash or rope comes up. Now I'm going to release him. Okay. Okay, good job. And now he's out. And I love. Uh, good boy. I love, love, love. Good boy. Good dog. Good. And he's really, he's going to bond to me because I'm his higher power. And then you're going to be the higher power. Now I want him to go in his crate. I say go place. He goes in. This is the only time I give him food. Any food. And obviously we're going to back off his calories, increase his exercise. Because weight on, this amount of weight on a little dog, it's just not good for him. He gets a little couple of treats. Randomly and periodically. Crate training is going to be a huge part of your training. Dog stays in the crate, he doesn't bark, he's relaxed. We come to get him out randomly and periodically. Not just when you're going to bed, not just when you're going out. Randomly, it could be for a minute, he's been in there a minute now. Now I'm coming over, he thinks he can come out. I open, I open, I open, but he can't come out. So we just gotta teach him. But that can't happen right now, because he can't think. This is, would be analogous to a child jumping out the window of a classroom just because you open the, the window. They can't think like that. They have to wait for direction. OK. Oh, boy, Dexter. And where does he come? To me. He's not attacking anybody. Uh, somebody come over and pet him. Somebody with courage. <laughs> just get low. Hi, Dexter. Good. Good, and then forget it, that's fine. Good, all right, and that's it for Dexter today. We're gonna to resume our videos. Okay, so here's our cast of characters, and they are certainly characters. I have Max from the town of Hempstead Shelter, who was very food guarding. I got my little friend Dexter here, who he, he, he was go going to bite Max a few minutes ago. I have little puppy Crosby who somehow creates problems. Correct that one? Good. So watch what we do here. We correct bad behavior. He was just, I wish I had it on film, but a few minutes ago he was going after my friend. So what I just want you to show in this few minutes is just energy. Energy. Or lack thereof. I'm not talking. I get low. My little friend comes here. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Maxie! Maxie boy! All dogs with some type of behavioral problem. We're going to address them all the same by being good leaders. Not, there's no energy here. Okay, Maxie boy. Okay, Ma Dexter, sorry. Uh, okay, that's good for now. Okay, moving along with our behavior modification. So my little man here has to deal with these guys. He can't bite them. And that's what he'd like to do. That's what he'd like to do with mom. So our energy is low, this is good. Good boy, good. No, I'm not holding him back. I'm not restraining him. Guys, Crosby, Maxi, good. Good guys, over here. Max, uh, what's his name? Uh, Crosby. 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 Oh, uh, Caesar boy. Here's Caesar boy. Hello, Caesar boy. Here, little one. This is amazing, kind of. Easy. Nut job. Don't get nervous. So here we are. We're adjusting energy. Adjusting energy. So this is a huge step forward today. Maxi boy. Maxie boy, this little one thinks he's tougher than you. Take time and patience. Time and patience, down here. I wish I would have videoed before when he was after Max. All right, good, good, good. Caesar boy, okay, so we're adjusting the energy. Now we drop the leash. He knows, look at how he's looking at me. I'm in charge. <laughs> Foot. I'm in charge of the energy here. Leadership. So we've gone from him being afraid, wanting to attack him, 
to now accepting him. We got Caesar inspecting Crosby. I got my friend over here. So. Caesar boy, Maxi man, Maxi and Caesar boy. Maxi. Good. Uh, what's his name? Dexter. Dexter! Here's my Dexter. Here's my Caesar. This is magnifico today.